In today's video, I will be giving you my honest opinion of Huel, having been a consumer, not only just a purchaser, obviously it's a product that you take and ingest into your body, since March 2022. I'm gonna check that fact. Yep, since March 2022. I originally started drinking Huel, having become aware of it a number of years ago, before a diver CEO, although it was Mr. Bartlett's persistent barrage of advertisements on the podcast, which made me take the jump and think, fuck it. I'll try it. Huel, 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 Huel. I can't talk about Huel enough. But I originally did it because I wanted to reduce my calorie intake and that will be one of my top five reasons for having it in my opinion. So it's a protein drink, which slicker packaging, modern marketing, a bit hipsterish in terms of it's plant-based, gluten-free in certain products, etc. Um, but it's a little bit slim fasty to me. Meal replacement, low calorie, high, slightly high protein. It does kind of hit that slim fast element. Diet drink, if you're asking me. It's also an element which is saying it's food, the future of food, and it's actually just a protein shake perhaps, but it's got all your vitamins and minerals and all the rest of it. But it depends how much of the marketing you buy into. I'll only have one scoop in the morning or maybe I'll have two scoops to up my protein intake um, and also to kind of cut a meal out. I only have 200 calories because I'm a great big fatty and I eat loads and I can't because I'm quite short and I don't exercise enough. Um, so I will go through on some overhead shots just generally an unboxing of what you get in the package. I'll go through what the packaging looks like, what it looks like on the back, my favourite flavours and I'll put it in with chapters so you can skip to the bits that you do or don't like. Um, but you'll see, you know, also do your own research. Go on their website, you know, there's plenty of influencers on the Instagram Instagram stuff pushing it and obviously they have their own uh, Huel Instagram page. I don't know why I'm saying it like a, a Welsh person, a Huel. Um, but anyway, if you do go for it, you know, it is really easy to have to control that subscription, to try. It's not that expensive. I think it's 5150 for for two bags on a subscription. That's something else what mine is. And let's move on to the unboxing, the packaging, a little bit more about my favorite flavors and then your, my five reasons why Huel works for me. So once you've replaced your order, whether that's a one-off, God, it's heavier than I thought, or on a subscription base, you'll receive a box like this. Huel branding, your postcode all over it, which is annoying to have to get rid of. Huel.com everywhere on the box. There. Future of food is inside this box, which, if you ask me, I don't necessarily agree with that. I'm never gonna stop eating whole foods meat. I'm not a vegan as I've probably already said in this video. And let's get see what you get in. When you make your fist, it wasn't, oh, this is a terrible idea. It is in fact my third, fourth, or, or fifth. Even there, nice little touch and thought over the branding. Thank you, and the packaging. Thank you for choosing Cure. Again, nothing else printed inside the box. You could argue that is because also it'd be slightly wasteful. You have a nice, plain, craft cardboard box with enough writing on to push the heel brand. I have two bags in here. Adios to that. So you see again with the branding you've got here, nutritionally complete food in this minimalist packaging. Heel.com underneath. And on the back you get all your descriptions about the, the vitamins and the minerals, the 26, I think it's 26 vitamins and minerals and also in what quantities per per portion 100 grams to be clear 100 grams is two scoops it tells you the amount per 100 grams in in milligrams of the vitamin and mineral and how much they recommend a daily allowance you get so whether it's 20 percent 80 percent and then it also gives you a nutritional breakdown of how much protein so in the case of the 3.0 it's 30 grams per two scoops. It's very low in fat, it's very low in sugar. To be honest, the only flavor that I'm having right now is a salted caramel flavor. I've had chocolate, banana, coffee, and salted caramel, and for now, the, the uh, salted caramel is the, is the only one I'm drinking. On my first order, I did try the Huel Black Addiction. Addic Black Addiction, that's something else entirely. Oh, 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 oh! It's higher protein, it's gluten-free, it's plant-based like the Huel 
3.0 is. And it's, um, I think it's lower carbs and lower fat generally. But I moved away from the Huel Black I can't get, I can't get around saying that. I did move away from the Huel Black Edition because for me it wasn't as good a texture and didn't taste the same as the 3.0. You will be able to order a water bottle and you get it, I've used this this morning and I haven't washed it for the purpose of this video. It has a little grit, the grate in there to get it nice and smooth and originally, I don't know if you can see it, it has a, it has a little rubber pull cord which sits here but mine snapped off very quickly. Um, it's quite big, doesn't really go in the, the cup holder of the car. I drive a Land Rover Defender which has fairly sizable cup holders but you know it's, it is also uh, keeps it, it is also it's fine. I usually drink it for breakfast so it's, it's out of the way. This is for me the fact the, the if you're gonna have two scoops I always fill it up to here. If you're gonna have one scoop I always do half and this is your scoop so this will come with your first order and you can also get uh, additional scoops in future or, or with future orders. So what's my top five reasons for having Huel? Number one is the speed and convenience. In the morning I do not often have time for breakfast and that is not just a rise and grind routine, it's a case of having two small children, both at, one at nursery, one at school, uh, both well, one's coming up to six and the other one is only three. I want to support my wife with her morning routine so she exercises in the morning and I exercise and then we both have, uh, she has breakfast and I have fuel and we have, but we have to get the girls ready, get the uniform on, get them out of the door, sometimes they won't wake up and for me I just don't want to be trying to have cereal or toast and just eat stressed. I want to be able to make a shake and either take it with me or have it in the office when I sit down um, at my desk. So for me speed and convenience is just the easiest thing. Water, scoop or two scoops, shake, done. And that's it. That's probably one of the biggest reasons I went for it. Reason two, high protein. I, I struggle to get enough protein in, into my diet. I think if you look at how many grams per kilogram, I wasn't hitting those goals. I'm still not, even with Huel. I'm eating over my calories still, sometimes, if I'm not being good, but I'm not getting enough protein. So having Huel in my diet gives me a higher source of protein, helps me maintain muscle, build muscle, because at the end of the day, that is something I want to do. I don't want to be Arnold shredded, but I do want to build muscle, maintain muscle and keep my strength up, especially as I start to get older into my later years and you lose muscle strength or tone from the age of 30 something onwards. So I'm on that downward slope now and I need to be very careful. Number three, it is low calorie, or at least it is for me, it's clearly calorie controlled. So if I want to have it two meals a day and I use the term meals lightly. If I want to have two meals a day, I can have 400 calories at breakfast, I can have 400 cal calories at lunch, and because I'm a man with a bigger muscle mass than, say, a woman or a, or a skinny man, then I have a higher metabolic rate. I, that will give me plenty of calories to have, I have at dinner, or left over and I can run on a deficit because I'm still in a cut routine trying to exercise, trying to lose weight. Most of the time I will only have one scoop in the morning for my breakfast, 200 calories to allow me to have a big lunch and then a light dinner. But generally Huel is fueling this calorie controlled thing that I'm trying to do and then breaking when I'm on holiday. But then everything, life is a cycle. We're gonna be going round and round and round in circles as most people do. Days of binging, weeks of binging, and then trying to be good. Number four is actually taste. Now I can only talk about the Black Edition and the Huel Powder 3.0, not the ready-made meals, pastas, and whatever it is, the protein bars. For me, the Black Edition did have a slightly worse taste, but it was okay, uh, and I didn't like the texture. Probably because of such high amounts of protein, it didn't have the same texture as the 3.0, and it just wasn't for me. So I have the Huel Powder 3.0, and I will only have the salted caramel, but I'm not bothered I, I would eat this out or eat or drink the same thing if I liked it every single day particularly if it helped me to achieve my goals so for me the taste is great particularly as you can you can make it with water I've had my tip my protein powders I've had the awful ones from Holland and Barrett I tried numerous ones over the years either with milk and to be honest considering it's only made with water and considering it's high protein it does taste great, or for me, the salted caramel tastes great. Feel free to let me know which one you like or don't like. And finally, number five is that it's plant-based. 
I'm not a vegan, I never will be. I do try and limit the amount of meat or red meat I have, not just because it's fucking expensive, but also because I know that it is generally an overconsumption of is bad for me. Um, so again, the fact that this is plant-based and made with water and tastes great, is a good thing for me and it has all the vitamins and minerals and all the rest of it which you know is a, is a good thing because I don't take multivitamins and I probably don't eat a balanced and healthy enough diet generally so the fact that it's plant-based for, for me is a really good thing and the way the kind of the say let's say the, the way based protein industry works is obviously through pasteurization and homogenization they fire milk through at high pressure and then they they kind of scoop off the whey and use that and send that off to another product and that's very and I'm not saying that the plant protein in Huel isn't industrialized and tampered with and shipped around and messed with, but I do quite like that this isn't, I'm not drinking a byproduct of the dairy industry, which I know sounds a bit strange and maybe doesn't make any sense, but that's just how I feel. So the fact that it tastes great and it's plant based and yeah, I ran out of steam on that point. So that kind of sums up my experience since March 2022. I drink, some days I drink more, some days I drink less. I mainly use it to calorie control my diet and I mainly use it to keep up my protein intake. I still haven't decided whether I'm going to drink more or less of it. I might, if I start lifting more weights, I'll probably have more to further increase that protein. Um, and, I, and until my children are much older, I probably also need the simplicity and ease of it. I might even have to start having it three times a day as they have more clubs and sports activities and things. So that kind of brings us to the natural end of this video. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. If we're not at a thousand subscribers yet, just you know, do me a solid and subscribe. That'd be great. You don't have to watch any video of mine ever again, um, but it would really help us out. And hopefully, see you on the next one.